taught me is that you talk all the way up until Isha time. And that's very common during the iftars. And then you're like, oh, brother, we got we to gotta get out of here. We need to get the salat. And then what happens? You get the salat late. Imagine that's Layla to cover. Every second is priceless. Every second. I remember, um, and this is the first time I had experienced it. There's a brother visiting from, from here, from Philly, in Medina. And, and the Shane put his eye and I bet but invited us over to, to his house to Iqtah. It was the 27th night. Okay? So, as we're breaking the fast, I mean, his, you know, because they break the fast as a family, it was just myself and his other brother in Philly. As they're breaking the fast, they got Masan, reading the Quran. Mm. I'm looking at this is right. But they were trying, they did not want to waste one second. And with and breaking fast in Muslim countries is, is a little different than what you do it here. You know, there's no macaroni and cheese. And, <laughs> no, there's dates, there's some water, and there's something to get you through. There's something to get you through. Yogurt and bread and it like this. And then you go to the masjid and you pray mother at the masjid. And then after that, you may come back and eat a little more, but even then, it was just zipping the whole time. And it was just like, that was a lesson. To say that these moments are priceless. You don't 